I was definitely on the streets for five to six months. I ended up on the streets with just a bag. I became an alcoholic and a drug user. At the time, I thought the world was against me. I ended up uh, losing a lot of things, material, spiritual, physical, mental. I'd have to uh, find somewhere to go where I can lock myself into, uh, if it's a bathroom or just anywhere. I would, sometimes I'd go to a park and shut the gate and that way I can give myself a bird bath. Then you also have the struggles of just losing hope. Being on the streets alone, it becomes very extremely lonely. Homelessness, a crisis in Los Angeles that needs to be tackled. Los Angeles County is the second highest homeless population of any county or city in the United States only after New York City. Until 2017, the homeless population had been increasing every year with only a slight drop in 2018. Homelessness is visible throughout LA, even in wealthier communities like Bel Air, Brentwood, and Beverly Hills. Los Angeles County is the residence of over 50,000 homeless people. This affects not only the homeless population, but also the lives of residents everywhere. That's why something needs to be done. Uh, so my name is Christina Miller. I'm the Deputy Mayor for City Homelessness Initiatives uh, under Mayor Eric Garcetti. Uh, I'm Mike Arnold. I'm the CEO and President of the Midnight Mission in downtown Los Angeles. My name is Joey Weiner. I'm the volunteer manager here at the Midnight Mission. My name is Andrew Linares. I'm the Community Events Coordinator here at the Midnight Mission. But before that, I was definitely on the streets. My name is Daryl Baptist. I'm a recovering addict. According to our last homeless count, there are about 53,000 people who are homeless all, all the way across LA County. 2016 to 2017, it was like 58, right? And then 2017 and 2018, it went down to like 48, right? So it seemed like there was like this decrease of 10,000 people documented homeless on any given night, according to Lhasa. It seemed to be like this big, like, oh my God, it's, it's you know, things are going great. We didn't see anything different here. The basic population breakdown for uh, the folks who are homeless across LA County, um, it's about two thirds men and one third women. Although we wonder if women are undercounted because we know women for safety reasons will often hide a little better than men. About 30% of folks who are homeless uh, report having a uh, serious mental health issue. Uh, about 20% of folks uh, report having a substance abuse issue. What comes with addiction is, is um, depression. Your addicts are actually depressed about their life. They want to stop, but they don't know how. Sometimes, I tell people sometimes, you don't have to be locked in a physical prison to be locked into a mental prison. Um, with the remaining sort of 70% of folks are homeless mainly for economic reasons. Um, you know, in plain terms, they can't afford the rent. We found out that we had housed um, over 16,000 people. Um, what's not being captured in that number are the number of people who, um, what we call self-resolvers. We have an estimate of around 18,000 beds right now. Our system looks at people who um, need the most intensive services, and we try to direct them to the most intensive housing resources. For people who are newly homeless or maybe just need a small amount of assistance, we do what we call light touch case management, which is maybe just a little bit of rental assistance or eviction prevention or job training. There is, there is a way. Um, Homelessness responds to resources, right? And so that's kind of been my mantra in this position because for a very, very, very long time, uh, for decades in fact, we have not uh, put forth the resources that is required to tackle probably the most complicated social issue of our time. So for a very long time, we wanted to end homelessness, but we didn't have any resources to do it. Um, so it's just in the last couple years that we have resources we never had before. What we know is that if you resource solutions, then homelessness goes down. There are two things we absolutely know that will solve homelessness. You have to have housing, and you have to have services for some period of time, maybe just a little bit, in other cases for a long time, that help people retain that housing. 
In terms of talking to communities about building shelter or creating more indoor spaces for people to be, um, those conversations um, really need to revolve around figuring out what the concerns are of, of the community, um, listening to them, and then a lot of what we do is demystify kind of what their concerns might be. There's uh, sometimes a challenge where um, people who are experiencing homelessness are often seen as being unstable or unsafe or um, you know, having criminal backgrounds, but we know that again not to be true. People who are experiencing homelessness are not that different from people who live in housing. Ultimately, we know that when, when people are inside, an entire community is better. We both uh, are really trying to do the core things, which are engage with people on the streets, get them linked to services, assess what their housing needs are, and triage them to housing. Back in 2015, the city and the county both adopted strategic plans. And not only did they adopt a plan, but they put money into the plan too. Um, so the plans uh, consist of funding more services, more outreach workers, more case managers, more mental health social workers, um, preventing homelessness from ever beginning in the first place. So funding uh, landlord, uh, mediation resources, or eviction prevention services. Um, and then we're funding a lot of money into building more affordable housing for people because again, the reason why homelessness exists is because we are in a uh, extreme housing uh, shortage. Uh, and in the past, cities like Los Angeles had a transient workforce. They could come in, they could rent rooms, we called them single room occupancies. They're cheap rooms that you can rent by the day or by the week and it provided cheap housing um, for the warehouses and the other businesses that tend to be in, in industrial areas. Over the course of the last 20 years, a lot of those business types have been acquired and redeveloped and turned into more market rate housing. What we know is that when people are on the streets, they interact a lot with, with public resources. All of those are things that cost money and cost taxpayers money. Um, and so housing also costs taxpayers money. But what we see when people go into housing is that they use less of those other public resources. They actually cost taxpayers less money. I think this goes against uh, some popular beliefs uh, of what um, sort of a, a, the general community may think or believe about homelessness. Um, but by and large, the reason people are homeless is not because me of mental illness, um, it's not because they're coming from um, other places outside of LA, it really is because they can't afford um, the rent or the housing cost um, here in, in the county. 70% of people who are experiencing homelessness are, um, are there because they, there's the gap between how much money they're making every month and how much it costs to live. And so the solution really is about creating more affordable housing paying people more money, like raising the minimum wage, and closing that gap so people can sustain um, and live healthy, balanced lives. One third of renters in California spend half of their income on rent. This alludes to the idea that homelessness in Los Angeles could keep growing, which is why the city and county have two new initiatives to help solve this issue. In 2017, uh, the county passed something called Measure H, um, and this is a quarter cent sales tax. Um, so voters basically went to, the, went to the ballot boxes and voted to tax themselves. Um, this quarter cent sales tax raises about $355 million a year for homeless services, which is huge. It's, it's, a, it's a resource we never had in the past. Um, and in the beginning, you know, having 55,000 people who are homeless, we need, we need big solutions and lots of resources to address that need, right? So baked into the uh, Measure H, baked into that $355 million is mental health services, substance abuse services, um, housing services, um, and just general case managers. The voters passed uh, the service tax, right? But they also voted to tax themselves on a housing bond. Uh, and this is called Triple H, so it's confusing because they're both H's. Um, but the, the Triple H housing bond is to create $1.2 billion for housing over the next 10 years. Um, and this initiative is going to build 10,000 units of supportive housing, which is housing plus services, um, over the next 10 years. And so of that Triple H um, um, initiative, so to speak, we have 108 projects in the pipeline. Um, so those will yield thousands of units for people, just for people who are homeless to move into. The sad part of that is, is that both Measure H and Measure HHH are only designed 
to house the number of people who last year were chronically homeless on the streets of Los Angeles, which is about 20 to 25 percent of the people experiencing homelessness. So we have no solutions in place for the other 75 percent of people experiencing homelessness. And we know that the longer we leave them homeless, uh, the more damage occurs to them and the more difficult they are going to be to get into housing. So the real challenge is, is we've got to start talking about spending money that's going to make a difference. And I've got a lot of experience and I just, if I were to pencil on the back of an envelope, my guess is, is that Los Angeles City and County should be spending about one and a half billion dollars a year to solve homelessness if we want to see the numbers go down on our streets. And I want to encourage everybody in their local communities to reach out, touch base with your local homeless service provider, uh, and show up and serve a meal, read to kids, bring your old clothes, uh, and participate in meaningful ways. It can be as simple as um, sharing articles on social media, um, having conversations with your friends or your family or your neighbors. There's a lot of myths out there about people who experience homelessness and one of the things that we've learned being here at the Midnight Mission is that every single one of them there but for the grace of God could be I uh, and they are there they need they need friends um, they need mentors they need jobs all of these things can, uh, can happen when you connect yourself with a local ser homeless service provider in your community. If you want to volunteer or donate your time, um, you can go to many of the nonprofits that we work with and donate an hour of your time. And that's also a good opportunity to just talk to our homeless neighbors. In order to show people uh, that are out there that are suffering from homelessness that these are our brothers and sisters that are suffering from a set of uh, circumstances that have led them out to the street. And what we need to remind them and remind ourselves is these are human beings that they feel lost and forgotten more often than not and it's up to us it's our duty to remind them and ourselves that that uh, these people are cared about that we want to help them we want to give them the opportunity to get out of whatever situation is holding them down there's a lot of reasons why people are homeless but I guarantee you there's one thing that unites most people that are technically homeless at this point uh, um, that is uh, that most of them are uh, have a loss of hope and so what we can do, those of us that have the ability to do so, is give them a little bit of hope and let them see that we care about them. To get involved in your community, get involved here at the Midnight Mission. And then you can use your power of the ballot box. You can vote for initiatives that support people who are homeless. Um, there's a lot of really exciting stuff going on at the state level. We have a, a governor who is really excited about figuring out solutions to end homelessness. Um, so there's also some legislative things you can do um, and be an activist around that.